Hello friends welcome to a new episode of bikini and lingerie review the purpose of this channel is to help you in selecting the best bikini or lingerie for you or for your partner based on the design material used and comfort as always we came up with nine set of bikinis in this video and in the last we will choose the best one for you if you are new here don't forget to subscribe my channel and turn on all notifications so that you can get the latest videos as soon as they will be uploaded also please subscribe to the channels of these lovely ladies for which links can be found in descriptions thanks and keep enjoying and do let me know what next you want to see Segundo, flipáis con el color. De hecho, en la cámara no se ve tanto como es, pero si os da, si da la luz, en plan luz de sol, vamos, es que es imposible perder. Te parece un, un cono de carretera. A mí me gusta muchísimo. Este es de la Vikinga Brand. Eh, es una chica de hecho de mi universidad. Me los enseñó a Nips. Y este sí que talla muy pequeño, porque esto es una M y esto es una M. Y de hecho yo de esto hubiera pedido hasta una L, porque eh, abarca poquito. O sea, lo que pasa es que tampoco me importa mucho, porque yo realmente eh, para tomar el sol y eso hago toples. Entonces, pues bueno, ya no me importa tanto cómo me quede la parte de arriba como me importaba antes. Prefiero una parte de abajo que quede bien. Y esta es de mis favoritas por detrás, porque es tanga, pero es tanga bonito. O sea, es maravilloso. Me encanta... Tiene más modelos, así que os lo pondré todo en la cajita de descripción porque creo que es súper guay y el color es increíble, o sea, no entiendo esta fantasía. Así que está en mi lista de favoritos también, probablemente os diga esto de todos los bikinis que veis. This is not completely identical to the one on Kylie's website. This was just the closest one that I could find. The first one, I will have to say, down to the core, identical to Kylie Jenner's. Give credit where credit is due. This one, I couldn't find anything that was like identical to Kylie's, but this is pretty much the same shit. Okay, the only difference with her bathing suits is hers don't tie on the side. This was the only one that I found that the color was somewhat similar. Hers is kind of like an ombre between pink and red. This is the closest thing that I could find. This is what the back looks like. The top for this bathing suit is a little bit more padded. It's supposed to be kind of like a push-up type of thing. I don't have anything to push up again. For the reviews that I watched on the two-piece, there weren't really any complaints. I just think that they're really basic. It's like the one piece is okay, they're cute, they've got a little design on them, whatever. These are pretty cheeky. I mean, they're kind of thongy. Just know that none of these bathing suits exceeded $20 compared to her $80 budget. I feel like a pink Barbie in this. Este es el otro de Lia, eh, también me encanta, o sea, es que los dos sinceramente me encanta el color, todo este rosa con naranja y blanco, y, sí, rosa con naranja, rojo, bueno, no sé, es súper bonito, además me gusta mucho porque es como medio pequeño, ¿sabéis? Eh, yo ya hace ya unos años que intento que los bikinis sean lo más como estrechitos posible porque me gustan las marcas, pero no el bragatazo este, entonces me cojo pues que las tiras sean muy delgaditas para que que de lo mínimo y este me encanta. O sea. This is on a 
honestly a better dupe for her bathing suits. The bottom piece and the top piece are just a little bit a little bit more similar to the ones that she has. I would have gotten this one in pink, but they didn't have it in that color, so the top is not as padded, it's more loose. The color I have to say is pretty spot on. You guys can see the comparisons when I insert the picture on the screen. But the top doesn't have any padding. I will double check, but I believe that her bathing suit tops also don't have any padding. Boom. Boom. And again, I also got this in a small. Bueno, este es sin duda uno de mis favoritísimos, eh, lo tengo que decir. Cuando me llegó uh, no me pude aguantar de enseñaroslos por Instagram. De hecho, si me seguís y los visteis, pues ahora veréis unos que pues, ya habéis visto. Pero eh, bueno, es que me encantó, no solo porque el diseño me gusta, sino porque eh, me queda clavado, bueno, clavado a mi gusto. Que me gusta como me queda, básicamente. Y nada, es este el estampado de cebra que está súper de moda y como no, pues verde que también... Eh, la parte de arriba creo que queda justa de qué Y la parte de abajo es maravillosa, normal, básica de, de lacitos Es decir, cuando cojo, bueno, aquí podría ser más estrecho pero está bastante bien Cuando cojo, sobre todo bañadores por internet o en eh, páginas así chinas eh, Me gusta mucho que sean con lacitos, que no me encantaban Porque así sé que si me va un poco pequeña o un poco grande la cosa se arregla Cuando son justas, eso o te entra o queda muy mal, así que yo os recomiendo que pilléis siempre con lacitos porque eso os asegura que podáis apretar más y podáis apretar menos. But it's just not working out. So I'm gonna give this point to Kylie. And I don't, I'm not really quite sure what to do with these. I don't know, I'm really trying to figure it out, but it just doesn't make any sense. This actually was one of my favorite bathing suits that she dropped on her line. So I was really looking forward to kind of finding a dupe for it. But unfortunately, this, um, this, this, no. If you have more ass or a little bit more hips, it might look better on you, but. Personally, I got this in a small and it's just baggy in the stomach area, it's baggy in the butt area, it's not giving. So I'm gonna have to give this one a 2 out of 10. Not my favorite, very disappointed. I really wanted to find a dupe for this. If I was to purchase anything from her website, it would be this specific. So friends, depending on the material, design, fit and finish, we choose this bikini as a winner for today's try on haul do let me know which one is your favorite